Five years ago, the world received Despicable Me, contrary to other kids' films that focused on the villain character, but it still won the hearts of both kids and adults. And part of why that is is because of the minion characters. Now they have their own movie. Let's see how they fare without their master, Gru. Minions. In my opinion, it's okay. The story follows Minions Stuart, Kevin, and Bob. They belong to a colony of Minions, and after so many failed attempts to find a master to serve under, they go out into the world in search of the ultimate supervillain. Their wish is met when they meet Scarlet Overkill, who wants to take over the world. Minions serves as an official prequel to Despicable Me, and being a fan of both those films, I was curious how the creators of these characters would treat them in their own film. We have seen cases where a popular side character is made the main focus in their own film, and the results are, well, they're mixed. Sometimes it works, sometimes you realize why that side character is a side character. With Minions, I had a mixture of both those feelings. I think generally it was a good idea because the characters are very fun and very likable, but I do think the filmmakers could have done better. To begin with though, I like the story idea a lot. It deals with purpose and finding one's place in the world. And especially for the minions, pursuing purpose makes for a very interesting journey. They all have wants, needs, and desires, and by the end we get to see what that need really is. There's also a good selection of humor that, despite being primarily for kids, can also be enjoyed by adults. Personally, I smiled quite a bit. I only ever really laughed out loud during the opening, like the beginning part where there was this montage showing all the villains they worked for over a period of however many years. That I thought was pretty funny. My notes for improvement fall under the villain, story choices, and the voiceover. In the beginning, Jeffrey Rush provides a narration telling us who the minions are, and what their purpose is. Let me first just say that I think Jeffrey Rush has a fantastic narrator voice, but for this film, I felt like the voiceover narration was unnecessary. Show me their purpose. Do not tell me their purpose. Regarding the villain, Overkill has the potential to be a truly great villain, someone we can love to hate. But as the film progresses, she just becomes so annoying and so boring that the movie itself becomes boring. I mean, taking over the world is such a tired plan and she just does nothing new with it. So why not give her a better, more original plan? Last but not least, we have story choices. In this film's case, there's just one choice. It involves a competition over Kill has to find the best henchman possible. Now, the idea itself of the competition is fine, that works well, but what she actually has them do to prove themselves to her, in my opinion, it was pretty dumb. My overall thinking is that kids will love this movie. If you're not a kid, it's questionable. I give Minions two and a half out of five stars. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Have an awesome day.